Hello everyone, welcome to Dan Does Stuff. Today, I wanna to talk about something that I can't stand. I'm even gonna use the H word, which I don't use it a lot. I hate mice when they're in the house. Outside all you want, but those little buggers, when they get in the house, it drives me bananas. And I've been fighting these things for the longest time, ever since college, I lived in this basement. I had this trap line all through the basement and you just hear them like scurrying around like a snap, snap, snap. So I've done my due diligence over the years, but I saw this new mouse trap right here. It's called the Teppy Flippin' Slide. And the way this works, I'll, I'll get into it, but the reason why I wanted this was something different. I'm so used to do, using snap traps, and that's for another video. I'm gonna go into snap traps and how to do all that and what are the best ones. So this one, we're just gonna stick with this Flippin' Slide. So the way it works, it comes from overseas and it's packaged all just like this. And then here's a little ramp, it comes disassembled and you just snap it together. Bada bing. What you have here is a little slider, fits right in. And you put this on a five gallon bucket, like so. Connect the little ramp to it and you fill the front, what I, what I learned about it, you put peanut butter on the very, very front of the little mouse head. And when those little buggers climb up, they walk on, they're like, oh, let me get some of that peanut butter. And they keep walking, 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 then bloop, trap door. Slide them right into the bucket. And I've read some awesome reviews and I wanted to try this for myself. I've been fighting the mice pretty bad this year, ever since fall, actually every fall, I go around my entire house with just my fingers poking at the foundation, looking for any spots where those things have gotten in. Some years I'm really good about getting them all plugged up and I don't have any mice in my house. This year, for some reason, I couldn't, I couldn't find where the hole was. I did end up finding where it was. And I'm not gonna get in, into that any further. So my first impression of this Teppy Flip and Slide is $26.99 for one. And after shipping, it cost a total of $32.98. It took a while for me to get it, like weeks, because I was excited to use this thing and it just took a while to get here. But I've yet to try it out. I want to do a little review on it. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to take peanut butter. I'm going to cake it in the inside by the, by the head of the mouse. And I'm going to put it on this five gallon bucket. I'm not going to fill this bucket with anything. I heard that you can put water in it. Well, in Minnesota right now, it's January. It's gonna be like a high of three tomorrow, Fahrenheit. So that would freeze. I could use antifreeze. So then they have a nice little antifreeze bath to drown in, but I wanna catch them alive. So what I'm gonna do is put some goat feed in the bottom. I don't, the mice love that stuff. Put some in the bottom of here, coat this with peanut butter, strap it on, Put the little ramp. Now, as you can see, that's a pretty steep angle. That's like mountaineer mice climbing up that thing. So I'm, I might put a board just to decrease the angle. And I'm gonna put this in the goat barn and get it all set up and see how many mice I can catch in one night. Now, I will have to check it every night just because I have this flipping squirrel that's in with the goats and the chickens. And I know for a fact, that thing would just run up here, lick it all, get stuck, and I just have a disaster. So let's get this thing set up in the goat barn and see how it works. We're in the goat barn and the chicken barn. And I'm just gonna set it up right here. One thing I noticed when I put on the bucket, it's not a tight fit on this bucket. It doesn't snap on the way that a lid would. I don't know, we'll see what happens. And then I put the ramp against that little chunk of concrete right there. Just gives them a less of an angle to go up. Granted, I don't think they'll have a problem. Put some goat feed in the bottom, loaded the front with peanut butter. Give that tipping motion. See how it works. Good morning, everyone. It's the next day. I've had this teppy flip and slide mousetrap out for the night. And I wanted to get out here right away before that squirrel gets in here and destroys this thing. I'm excited to see what happens. If we caught any mice, it's minus five Fahrenheit right now, so it's cold. So I'm just gonna take this off. Oh, I can't stand mice. 
Holy moly. You see that in there? Four mousies. Not too bad in one night. Well, I do have to say, it definitely worked and really pumped. And actually, I know I mentioned yesterday about that not fitting tight on the bucket. I kind of like that it just is loose because then I can just take it right off. Well, what I'm going to do, oh, sorry. What I'm going to do is take these little mice out into the swamp and just let them go. Be some hawk bait, some owl bait, or they'll survive. I'm excited. Well, I hope you enjoy this video. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And get this mouse trap. It's pretty cool. Thanks for watching. Go, little mousey, go! One. Be free to not live in my barn. Ugh. There we go.